everybody, thanks for joining me at Fall Creek Collectibles here. Uh, doing a quick video, it probably won't be that quick, but um, I do uh, breaks with Urban Card Breaks, if you're not familiar with him. I'll link his channel down in the description. I recently became a uh, Patreon member of his. I've done breaks with him for, I don't know, three, four, five months now. Uh, I really like the way he does his breaks. He um, he doesn't rush his way through. So let me just uh, give you a quick run through of uh, his Patreon package. I, I'm at like the $8 level or whatever. Um, he sends you some bonus cards. I do collect hockey. He collects hockey. Some uh, bonus packs. Which let's rip these high number of ninety ninety one hockey upper deck. There should could be some good rookies in here, and we gotta play the flip game. Sergey Fedorov, Young Guns. Um, that's probably the best card in that set. Wow, that's awesome. Another flip, Bobby Clark, Dave Wiener, Dave Reed, and Nomar Rochford. Um, pretty psyched about. I think if I if I have my facts correct, I believe that was the first Young Guns card upper deck ever made. Could be wrong. Some bonus cards here. I'm not going to open those right now. And he also sent me a pack of 87 clear. Which, oh, look at that. Twins logo right there. Uh, let's see who we can find. Jose Canseco, rookie card. Actually, his is 86, isn't it? I lied. Lamar Hoyt. Dennis Rasmussen, Rod, Rob Deere, Salvatera, Kurt Gibson, and good old Buddy Bell. Now, let's get down to the meat and potatoes of this video. So, uh, with Urban is in Canada, he's in Ontario. I uh, can't remember the city. He's in exactly. Um, so with all these border closures, it's been a challenge. But um, he does manage to get breaks into you in about two weeks. Um, that being said, with uh, Urban being in Canada, he has access to KSA grading. If you watch my channel often, you know that I like to do uh, grading videos. And um, I don't have... Uh, as good access to KSA as him. So we handpicked some cards out of uh, a break did with uh, with Urban on the YouTubes and um, we uh, submitted some uh, cards to KSA. So these are ones that we kind of handpicked. Um, there's a Reese Hoskins rookie card, 83 throwback. Uh, got a 9.5. Not a bad looking slab. I like the, the dark borders. Um, to me, this looks real sharp up here. I, I like it. I'm not going to lie. I, I like them better than SGC slabs. I'm still not um, still not a fan. Uh, Jordan Alvarez. Oh, I should go back. We got a 9.5 on this one. Uh, lo looks like a pretty centered card. Um, next is a 2020 Panini Donruss Jordan Alvarez rated rookie. This one got a nine. Awesome. Um, probably the best pull we had was a 2020 Panini Donruss Jordan Alvarez auto. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Uh, unfortunately, it only got an eight five. Sometimes these shiny cards are. A bit tough to grade and I'm not familiar with KSA at all I don't know how they grade um, next is another Jordan Alvarez 2020 Panini Donruss um, it's a whammy 
uh, insert. Kind of a cool card. This one got a nine. All right, 2019 Bowman's Best, Wander Franco. Uh, still, if he's not the top prospect in baseball, uh, pretty close. The other thing I didn't like is that they called it rookie card. He's still not a rookie. He's still a prospect. Um, I kind of foresee Wander. The Rays are stacked right now. They got a young team that's stacked. The only time I, I can see Wander playing is if he, he's probably going to have to get traded because they are pretty good team right now. Uh, it's another 2020 Panini Donruss. Um, numbered Nolan Ryan. It is 161 out of 234. Um, this one got a 9. I don't know if we discussed the Wander grade, but that one's at 8.5. This one is a nine, pretty cool card. And another one to Franco. This is the Atomic Refractor, nine five. Um, pretty darn cool card out of 2019 Bowman's Best. Um, my favorite thing about um, doing breaks with Urban is that he does mixers. Um, what I mean by mixers is he'll throw in different brands with different years. And um, he's done 17, 18, 19. Uh, he's done 18, 19, 20. And the, the nice thing about that is that even if you only buy one or two teams, you're probably going to get a good team within those three years. Um, you know, when you get stuck doing uh, one specific year, um, there's only two, three good teams to, to get. And if you don't hit them, then, uh, you know, or, or you don't get your PC teams, um, it's just not as, uh, likely. So, um, he allows trades on his channel. So if you want to trade to get your favorite PC team or your, whatever player your team is on, you're welcome to do that as long as the other participants are willing to do the same. That's all I got for you today. Um, a look at KSA reveal and, um, I'm impressed. I, I like the cars. I don't know how they're grade. They graded these really tough. I did not, uh, I didn't get a chance to preview these, but, uh, urban did. And, um, you know, considering the worst cards at 8.5 and we didn't really look at these too hard, that's not too bad. Um, I would have liked to seen 110 out of uh, all fresh pack pulls, but um, Donruss is maybe not known for their quality, and we only had two tops cards in there, the two Wanders. So the rest were Panini products. I'm pretty happy with the 9.5, though. Can't, can't complain about that, especially an atomic refractor. So thank you, Urban, and uh, thank you for everybody that uh, checks out my videos for grading. I will have some more grading videos coming up. I do have two more new companies that I'm going to try grading with. And um, so tune in. Thanks for watching Fall Creek Collectibles. Don't forget to uh, give this a like, subscribe bell icon, leave a comment, share with your friends, do good things in the world, and happy collecting.